Hi everyone, my name is Johnny Coburn, and this is my first discussion post. Uh, for me, I have two most important SDGs uh, for the city of Montreal that I think that they need to work on the most. Uh, the first would be number seven, affordable and clean energy. And then number two uh, would be number 11 on the list, sustainable cities and communities. Now, as a group, uh, Montreal uh, produces 5.5 tons of CO2 per person per year. Uh, with, a with Montreal having a population of 4.36 million, uh, that comes out to about 23.98 million tons of carbon emissions produced per year. Now that is a significant amount uh, regarding uh, where Montreal is located and um, how many people they have. Uh, now one way to solve this problem is to enforce people and really encourage people to use public transportation because Montreal has very good transportation, uh, like bus, subways, uh, that people can use. Um, people can also use bikes. Um, that would reduce carbon emissions significantly as well. So with, with enforcing public transportation, that would overall reduce carbon emissions uh, quite significantly um, over a couple of years. Uh, secondly, Montreal is in a grid parity province. Um, that makes solar panels cheaper than uh, residential utility rates. Um, Montreal gets about uh, 18, 1,800 hours of sunlight per year. So with that, uh, you can significantly reduce your um, utility rates, um, use less energy, and as a consumer, uh, spend less on, um, on gas. Um, it also, uh, with uh, it being in a province uh, parity province uh, it costs less to install solar panels as well um, so i think uh, going back to public transportation one of the actions that you can take is maybe install some toll roads um, like they have in the united states where that can help um, like i said force people to use public transportations whereas you don't have to pay these tolls if you use um, public transportation um, to assess this impact i would say that you do um, a public census once a year or once every three or four years, um, you know, whatever um, seems appropriate, and then do a scientific study of carbon emissions every two years so that the data is up to date. Um, so that is my first uh, discussion post. Thank you.